non-human animals for purposes other than self-defense or survival. Fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, Master of Ceremonies, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. For thousands upon thousands of years, man has hunted. Man has scoured the earth, and one big example would be their hunt of dolphins. They would corral dolphins, corral them towards the bay, where they would slaughter these dolphins for dolphin meat, dolphin oil, or they would capture these dolphins for entertainment, for us. <coughs> Not only dolphins, man has also managed to poach Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Coach gorillas. It's not funny. They would poach gorillas, hunting them down for their gorilla meat. Yes, they do eat gorilla meat. They would hunt them down for medicines as well as souvenirs and trophies. They they would sell to tourists there but they would also capture them to be sold to zoos, to be sold on, in the black market as pets. I hope you see where I'm going with this. Now, these are just international examples. We obviously don't have dolphins or gorillas in Bahrain, but in yesterday, November 19th, 2013, this article was in the paper. This dog was rescued by volunteers who found it after it was tortured by thugs who bludgered its head with an iron bar. It survived. However, I'm bringing all of this to your attention now because at the beginning of this month, November 1st, in the GDN, there was an article about the government finally approving that we will have animal rights as a law. And I'm only hoping that it would save animals from being sold in farms in Bahrain, cooped up. You will find these creatures set up like this in the souks, for example, like East Town Souk. Not just dogs, but cats and roosters and birds, etc. Or save them from dog fights. This actually is going on in Bahrain, underground dog fights, and a lot of animals have been killed during the process. I'm trying to ensure that when you go to Senate, for example, I'm not sure if most of you have been there lately, but last five years, or five years ago, next to Fuddruckers there, if you all know the area, right after Fuddruckers, there was a pole that chained these two monkeys during summer. They would leave them there in the heat, with no shade, with no food, with no water, for hours. And they would not be able to escape. They were tied there. And I would pass by this pole every day, coming, going to work and coming back. But I have moved from that area, so I have no idea what has happened to these creatures. This is just one of the several examples that you find in my brain that goes on. And let me just give you, I, I'm not sure if you have heard of this fable. There was an Indian couple with a baby who owned a pet goose, a mongoose. Now, this couple lived on their own with their, with their pet mongoose. And one day, the wife told the husband, I'm going to go to the market. I need you to take care of our baby. So she went. The husband was there protecting the, the child, watching over him. He was asleep. And someone knocked on the door and said, you have to come with us. We have to take you to court. We have to defend our, your friend. So the husband, before he leaves, says to the mongoose, please take care of the baby. I'll be back soon. So he leaves as well, leaving the mongoose at home 
to take care of this child. Now the mongoose stood sentinel in front of the crib, watching over it, until a huge snake <coughs> slid into the, into the room through the window and attempted to kill the child and eat it. The mongoose jumped and attacked the snake, killed it. Soon the parents came home and found the mongoose covered in blood all over its mouth, all over its paws, and thinking the worst, thought that it killed its, the, the kid, they, they killed the, the child. So in a storming rage, they killed the mongoose. They walked into the bedroom to find the child alive and a dead snake on the floor. And they wept for misjudging the situation. There are so many heroes in the world, and a lot of them happen to be animals as well. And this is one of the earliest examples I can give you. In 1996, in the zoo here in, um, in Illinois, a three-year-old boy climbed over the wall and fell down 20 feet and was hit on conscience. Now, it's a gorilla enclosure, so the other gorillas got startled and it was, they were approaching the child. This mother gorilla <coughs> went up to the child and protected it and fought off all the other gorillas. He picked him up, carrying his, uh, her own little child behind on his back, picked it up and took it towards the zoo cave, um, zoo cave where the zoo people Zookeepers. The zookeepers took the child and it was safe and sound. So why am I why am I bringing this up? Every day when I look at the QDN, I think about all these papers I see about articles I see about animals being hurt nonstop. There is a BSPCA here, there is other forms of protection, but how many of you have heard of stories in your own neighborhood of kids taking baby animals, burning them alive, throwing them in a dumpster, you know, attacking them somewhere, somehow, and how many of you have actually stopped it? Emmanuel Kant said, we can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. My only question to you is, would you be kind to everyone, especially those who cannot protect themselves? Over to you. Thank you, Master Ceremonies. Please note that I was only a fan of Desperate Housewives for season one. My speaker in particular, Toastmaster Nada Cumber, will be, will be doing her Project 10, Inspire Your Audience. Her objectives for this project will be to inspire the audience by appealing to noble motives and challenging the audience to achieve a higher level of belief or achievement. Appeal to the audience needs and emotions using stories, anecdotes, and quotes to add drama, and avoid using notes. Timer and speaker, please note that your time allotted is 8 to 10 minutes. I wish you the best of luck. Back to you. Thank you. That's not so for this. Now I'll introduce our speaker. She is one of the Thunder sisters, and you can always go and get advice from her if your zombie boyfriend is trying to eat you. Please all welcome Nida Thunder. 